Hi guys, welcome back to 100% Mag. So Gareth Southgate has announced today the England squad that will be going to the Qatar World Cup in the next few weeks. And I've got to say, you know, uh, there is some questionable decisions in there that Gareth Southgate has done. I'm going to run you through my thoughts on that England squad that has been announced to go to the World Cup. Obviously, we've seen the inclusion of three Newcastle United players in there. Uh, it was brilliant to see the inclusion of Callum Wilson into the squad. Uh, you know, because it's fully deserved. Kieran Trippier was absolute certainty that he was going to be in. Nick Pope definitely deserves his place for the way he's been playing this season. Now, looking at the goalkeeper, as that Gareth Southgate has picked to go to this World Cup, out of the three that's picked, Nick Pope has got to be number one for England in this tournament. Uh, Nick Pope is by far outperforming uh, the likes of Jordan Pickford and Aaron Ramsdale this season. Uh, Nick Pope has to be number one. It'll probably be Pickford though, but it's got to be Nick Pope for me. Obviously, I'm biased on this because I am a Newcastle United fan, uh, as you can tell. But, you know, just purely on the fact that, you know, Nick Pope is in a much better form than uh, Jordan Pickford. He's in much better form than Aaron Ramsdale as well. I know Arsenal are up at the top end, uh, you know, of the league in that top area but we're in there as well you know we're in their uh, top three of the Premier League and Ramsdale as well with Arsenal's in the top three of the Premier League so for me you know Nick Pope I'd say should be number one because he's got the better form this season uh, moving on away from the goalkeeper as we'll look at the defenders uh, you know Southgate calling up Arnold calling up Conor Cody calling up Eric uh, Dia calling up Harry Maguire Luke Shaw John Stones uh, obviously, Kieran Trippier, Kel Walker and Ben White. Uh, for me, you know, I am pretty disappointed to see that Dan Byrne hasn't been called up there. Uh, it's not the best call by Southgate that he hasn't called up Dan Byrne. He's been in very good form uh, and it is a player that you can rely on as well. Uh, Dan Byrne's been playing out of position somewhat as well to a degree in the fact that he's been playing on the left back position. Yes, he can play there, but... It is sort of out of position uh, for him as well in the fact that he, you know, you normally see him, you know, cut back inside to the centre back role uh, this season, which he has been doing quite a bit for it. Um, but for me, I would be leaving Luke Shaw at home or Harry Maguire at home uh, or both of them at home for that fact, you know, because they haven't really been performing that well. They haven't really been performing consistently. Uh, for Man United this season. Man United hasn't even been performing consistently this season. Neither they've been putting in really bad performances. They're not, you know, playing to the way that they would normally play. Um, there's many factors for that, of course. But for me, you know, I think Dan Burns should have been uh, ahead in the selection of Harry Maguire or Luke Shaw. So that one's a little bit of a questionable one. Nice to see, obviously, Trippier getting uh, called up which you knew was going to happen either way. Uh, Kel Walker as well getting called up. It's a good choice, uh, even though he did get absolutely you know, ripped apart this season by uh, Maxi on that wing uh, when we took them on at St. James's Park. Uh, ben White, possibly a good call on that one, uh, in the fact that uh, Arsenal are doing pretty well this season as well. Uh, moving on to the midfield, uh, we'll see Jude Bellingham get called in. Uh, Conor Gallagher, which is a questionable one as well, but you know maybe it is deserved. I haven't watched too many games with Conor Gallagher in this season, so maybe it is a deserved call up. Uh, Jordan Henderson is a bit of a strange one, but I guess you know it is experience at the end of the day. Uh, Mason Mount as well getting called up. Calvin Phillips, that's the one. What I would. You know, be very questionable towards in the fact that, you know, he's barely played any games this season for Manchester City. You know, maybe that's not his fault. Who knows? But he's barely played any games and now he's going to be heading to the World Cup. You know, yes, I know he was amazing in their last tournament for a uh, long side Declan Rice, you know. But at the end of the day, if you haven't played games, you shouldn't be going to an international tournament. Uh, because there was other players that could be going in the place of Calvin Phillips to the tournament, but that's what Southgate's picked. You know, we've got to trust what Southgate picks at the end of the day, I guess, but it is a questionable one. 
Uh, moving on to the forwards, we'll go to Phil Foden, uh, Jack Grealish, Harry, Mag uh, Harry Kane, uh, James Madison, which is great inclusion in the squad. Madison's been playing fantastic for Leicester. Uh, he really deserved the call up to the England squad as well uh, for the way he's been playing. You know, and there's been a lot of talk about James Madison's welcome to Newcastle United uh, in January. So we'll see how that happens uh, as time progresses. Rashford, I wouldn't have included, to be honest. Again, a similar one to Harry Maguire and Luke Shaw. You know, uh, Manchester United haven't been performing well. Rashford hasn't really been performing well, neither. Um, Bakayo Saka, you can't argue with that one. He's a really great player. Um, and, you know, he's been doing really well with Arsenal as well. Uh, Raheem Sterling, again, you know, you can always count on Sterling to put in a good performance for England. And Callum Wilson getting the call up, you know, just seals the icing on the cake uh, for the forward area. You know, if Harry Kane isn't going to be banging in the goals for it, uh, then we've always got Callum Wilson who will. Uh, so that's a plus there. And Callum Wilson always gives 110% when he goes out there on the pitch for you know Newcastle. So I'm sure he'll do it even more so uh, for the country as well. Uh, but fantastic uh, choices in some areas. Some questionable choices in other areas. Let us know your thoughts uh, down in the comments below about that England uh, squad that has been announced to go to the World Cup uh, in the coming weeks. But like I say, you know, a few questionable ones in there. The Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw and Marcus Rashford. I think if I had been picking the England squad, I would have left uh, them at home, to be honest, because they haven't been performing on a consistent basis. I would have picked Dan Byrne over Luke Shaw for for definite uh, on that one because Dan Byrne has been performing consistently this season. He's been putting in great performances. And also, like I say, you know, this season, uh, he's been playing as a left-back, cutting in the centre-back roles. So that would work really well, uh, you know, as well, if Southgate does decide to play uh, a similar style to what we're playing this season, which we have seen him do. Uh, you know, we have seen uh, Gareth Southgate go out there and, you know, pick a player style from a team like he picked Chelsea's not that long ago, you know, so maybe he could pick a player style, you know, to what we're doing this season. Uh, if England plays, you know, to that ability, then who knows, you know, what could maybe come away with a World Cup uh, at the end of this tournament, uh, which would be absolutely amazing. Uh, last time we ever won the World Cup, obviously, was 1966, so it's a long time ago, and quite a few of them lads that won that have now... Uh, obviously sadly passed on uh, there's not many of the 66 lads left so it would be nice to see you know England win a World Cup uh, whilst there is still some of them lads uh, you know left so that maybe you know we could see them hand over the trophy to uh, the current England squad but let us know your thoughts down in the comments below who would you have picked uh, to go to this World Cup like I say uh, you know it's entirely up to Gareth Southgate who he picks but there's some questionable decisions in there. Uh, till next time, I'll see you all there. I remember, like, share, subscribe to 100% bags. Oh, well, that's.